Hey everyone, so I've created a perfect look for Goba this year and I've teamed up with my gorgeous friend Gorshul here on YouTube. I will leave a link to her video down below in, de in the description box so please make sure you check it out. But for now, to get this makeup look right here then please keep on watching. I've started in by filling in my brows already and if you'd like to see an updated brow routine then let me know. I'm starting off with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm just putting that all over my lids with my ring finger to act as a base for my eyeshadows. And then I'm just taking Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek which is a lovely soft brown and I'm going to take that through the crease and a little bit above it as a transitional eyeshadow shade so it'll make it really easy for other eyeshadows to blend into it and give it a nice kind of gradient effect. I'm then taking Red Brick by MAC which is a gorgeous burnt orange type of shade and I'm just going to take this through the crease and a little bit above it on a fluffy blending brush and you just want to make sure this is really really nicely blended out because it's quite an obvious colour so you don't want to see any harsh lines. I'm then taking Embark by MAC and this is just going to go through the crease again over red brick and this is just going to help us get a bit more definition and depth to the eye and you just again want to make sure this is really nicely blended out. Moving on to the lid, I've got this gorgeous eyeshadow by MAC called Coppering and as the name suggests it's a copper kind of tone and I absolutely love this colour, it's gorgeous and perfect for this time of year and I'm just going to take this shade all over my lid and I'm not going to take it too high up and into the crease. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that colour on a fluffy blending brush to help buff that colour out on the edges so that again there's no harsh lines but also not taking it too high up into the crease where we've got the definition. Then for eyeliner I've got a black eyeliner by MAC and this is Feline and you can take any black pencil you like and I'm just going to take this really closely to the lash line, a nice thin line all the way across and then just with an angled brush I'm going to smudge it and smoke it out and give myself a really nice soft kind of winged liner. Then taking my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette and the colour Foxy I'm just going to buff that colour across my brow bone for a lovely brow bone highlight and what I love about this is that it's nice and matte so we're just keeping all the shimmer on the eyelids. Moving on to the face I've got my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer just to conceal any darker areas around my face and to even out the skin tone so I'm going to take that around my mouth and just around my nose and cover up any blemish scars as well. For foundation I've got my favourite foundation which is my Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation and I'm just going to buff this all over my skin in round circular motions. I love this stuff, it's great for all skin types, if you haven't tried it please make sure you do, I just absolutely love it. <laughs> So to conceal my dark circles I've got my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and my MAC Prep and Prime in the shade Light Boost and I'm going to take my NARS Concealer first just underneath my eyes and then run the Light Boost Prep and Prime over the top of it and with whatever is left on my Prep and Prime I'm going to take that across the face to highlight certain areas so on my forehead, down the centre of my nose, my cheeks and my chin and cupid's bow. And using my damp Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques, I'm just going to buff and blend that all out. I love using this for concealer, it just gives you an absolute flawless finish. So 
So to set all the highlighted areas of the face, I'm taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder, which you guys know I love so much, and I'm going to pat this over where I've concealed and highlighted, so underneath the eyes, my forehead, down my nose, and also my cheekbones. Once the skin is all done, I'm just going to finish off the eyes and I'm on a pencil brush, I'm taking the colour Red Brick which we used earlier and I'm going to run that all along my lower lash line and then I'm just going to go over that with the colour Embark which we also used and I'm just going to connect this to the top eyeshadow if that makes any sense um, so that it all flows and is all one. I'm then taking coppering which we use across the lid just in the inner corners to make that colour pop even more and then going to run the black eyeliner that I used before as well just on my lower waterline. So to warm up the face slightly I've got my Rimmel Natural Bronzer and I'm going to take this on my cheekbones to contour a little bit as well slightly on my temples and also down the sides of my nose to just slim it out a little bit. Also guys, don't forget to check out the names and shades of the products that I've used in the description box down below. I will list them all there. But anyways, to define the contour slightly, I'm going to take my sleek contour kit in the shade medium. And I'm going to take that slightly on the backs of my cheekbones to deepen up that contour a little bit. And again, just add some more definition. For blush, I've got this gorgeous blusher by MAC and it's called Spring Sheen, which is a lovely kind of coral tone and I'm just gonna take that over the top of the contour. And for highlights, I'm mixing my NARS Albatross Highlighter and my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And I'm taking that on the tops of my cheekbones, on my forehead, down the center of my nose slightly, and also on my Cupid's bow. I love mixing these two highlighters, it's absolutely gorgeous. For mascara, I've got my Maybelline Falsies Mascara, of course, because I love this stuff. And I'm just going to run a few coats of this on my top lashes and bottom lashes. So I'm also just applying some false lashes to add a little bit of extra drama to this makeup look. <laughs> For the lips, I've got Well Lip Liner by MAC and I'm just going to line the edges of my lips with this. I'm then just going to fill in the rest of my lips with Velvet Teddy Lipstick by MAC and as you guys know, I love this nude lipstick. Gorgeous, gorgeous nude lipstick. And I'm just going to go over the top of that with Love Lawn Lip Gloss by MAC as well. So this is the finished makeup look on its own guys. But as it's go by, I'm going to dress this makeup look up and make it a bit more traditional. And I've just found like a little piece of necklace and half a dicker and I've just put them together and made this myself. I put a bindi on and I'm just adding some traditional black dots um, just on the corner of my eyes, also on my chin as well. And here we have the finished makeup look guys. I really, really hope you like it. I hope you guys have a fantastic time at Goba and you dance your socks off. But if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below letting me know what other videos you'd like to see. Make sure you don't forget to check out Gorshaw's video. And if you haven't subscribed to me already, please make sure you do. Bye.